Yes, we are doing another two-in-one review and comparison because these two phones are very similar to each other. So on your left, what we have here is the Redmi Note 11 and on your right is the Redmi Note 11 S. So without further ado, let's talk about these two phones in today's video. Honestly speaking, we are a little late when it comes to the review of these two phones. Many other YouTubers already imported the Redmi Note 11 series of phones from China to review, but we waited until the official global variant because of two reasons. Number one, importing from China is costly and secondly, the phone might have a different name in different regions. So for example, the Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G or 11 Pro is different from the Malaysian variant and we just want to avoid that kind of confusion and so we waited for the global retail units of the Redmi Note 11 series of smartphones. So starting off, we'll talk about the specs first. What's the difference between these two phones? And the most apparent one is of course the chipset. So the Redmi Note 11 here uses the Snapdragon 680 chipset whereby the 11S is using the MediaTek Helio G96 chipset. Even the RAM and storage capacities are different too. The Redmi Note 11 starts from 4 gigs of RAM with 64 gigs of storage, whereby the 11S starts at 6 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage. That extra 2 gigs of RAM makes a whole lot of difference when it comes to multitasking as well. When it comes to gaming though, both of them are very similar to each other. They both do stutter on Genshin Impact even at the lowest graphical settings but it ran fine on the four other games that we've tested on these two phones. And since these two phones are using low power chipsets, they don't go beyond 40 degrees Celsius on their surface temperatures. So yeah, you, you won't feel anything if you're gaming and holding the phone for a long time. Another difference is the cameras. Sorry, I mean the camera. Only the main camera is different here. They both come with a total of 4 different cameras and I'll only consider both the main and ultra wide cameras to be actually usable to take pictures. The depth sensor and the 2 megapixel fixed focus macro camera is kind of pointless. So let's talk about the Redmi Note 11 first. That 50 megapixel main camera can take some good looking pictures outdoors even though the white balance is totally off. Indoor shots are fairly decent, granted that the big glass door was open at the time and when the night falls, the images are quite horrible. When we switch over to the 50 megapixel mode and took the same pictures from earlier, the images don't look particularly good when zoomed in. While it is indeed a 50 megapixel picture, most of the finer details are just gone. As for the Redmi Note 11S, this phone comes with an 108 megapixel sensor with an f1.9 aperture lens. Sounds mighty impressive on paper, but is it actually good? Hmm, somewhat. The outdoor shots on a bright sunny day does look good and both the details and white balance do look good as well. Parts of it does look over sharpened like all of these leaves right here and the buildings just look artificial. When it comes to the 108 megapixel mode on this phone and took the same exact picture under super bright sunlight, it does look noisy and over sharpened as well. Night mode on the Redmi Note 11S definitely look better on the Redmi Note 11 but not by much. I mean they're still noisy like my neighbours and now it's also blurry at the same time. And like what we mentioned earlier, other than the main cameras, the pictures taken by the ultra wide cameras on these two phones look pretty much identical. I can put both pictures side by side here and you can see how similar they are. And those are the only differences between the Redmi Note 11 and the Redmi Note 11S chipset and the main camera. Other parts of these phones are pretty much identical, I would say. So let's speed run through them, starting with the design. I really had a hard time identifying which phone is which because I had both of them facing down on my table. And since both of them are with the same color, the only main differentiation point that I have is actually the camera bump. You see, the Redmi Note 11S has the double camera bump for the 108 megapixel sensor, which I think it just looks ridiculous. It rocks back and forth the table way more than the Redmi Note 11. They both use the same matte finish as well, and they do catch some fingerprint and oil at the same time, but they are easily wiped off. When it comes to the screen, they are both using the exact same 6.43 inch AMOLED screen with 90Hz refresh rate and the same resolution of 2400 by 1080 pixels. Nothing particularly new here, though I must say under broad daylight, I 
really can't see anything on the screen at all. And in terms of battery, they both come with the same 5000 mAh battery. And this phone right here with the Snapdragon 680 on the Redmi Note 11 does last a lot longer than the MediaTek G96 in the Redmi Note 11S. I mean, it's a huge gap even though the gaming performance isn't that much different. That just goes to show that the Snapdragon 680 is just much more efficient than the MediaTek Helio G96. And when it comes to the charging time, they are both also using the exact same proprietary 33 watt fast charger and they both took like about an hour to charge from 15 to 100% so that's nothing out of the ordinary. Still, I really do wish Xiaomi to adopt USB PD standards so we can use any other chargers to charge this phone quickly. And if you want to learn more about USB PD chargers, you can check out our video at the top right corner there. Oh, by the way, it's software time. So both of these phones are using Android 11 but they're using MIUI 13 out of the box. Unfortunately though, I seriously can't find any significant differences between MIUI 12.5 and MIUI 13. The UI remains exactly the same as far as I know and the settings menu is still as hectic as ever. I don't really care about the aesthetics or the animations if the basics can't even be handled properly. Whatever atomized memory feature that they boast is also not working properly since MIUI's built-in FPS meter was closed by MIUI itself because their own RAM management algorithm is just way too aggressive or maybe there's just not enough RAM. Either way, the user experience is not that good. Xiaomi did add a new sidebar feature that is reminiscent of Samsung's Edge panel. However, the Xiaomi's sidebar is only just a bunch of app shortcuts, which I think that Xiaomi has a missed opportunity here. And finally, should you buy the Redmi Note 11 or the Redmi Note 11S? I can't really answer that question for you because honestly, I would have to say these two phones are just way too similar to each other and they both have their own strengths, but they are not that significant to differentiate themselves from recommending one over the other. And as for the prices of these two phones, they are as shown on the screen right here. And I genuinely think that the prices have gone up by quite a lot actually. So if you remember the Redmi Note 10 from last year, it starts from 6 gigs of RAM with 128 gigs of storage at 799 ringgit. And same goes to the Redmi Note 11S as well. So last year's Redmi Note 10S was starting at 8 gigs of RAM with 128 gigs of storage at the same price of 899 ringgit. But this year, Redmi Note 11S starts from 6 gigs of RAM with only 64 gigs of storage at the same 899 ringgit. I will be exceptionally harsh this time and I would say the Redmi Note 11S is just not worth that high of a price, especially not with that 108 megapixel which only has a high megapixel count but the picture quality coming out of it is just not that good. Personally, I'll wait for the Redmi Note 11 Pro and also the Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G before making a purchase decision. Though from what I can see, the specs between the two Pro variants are very similar to the Redmi Note 11S. So yeah, that's it. That's all we have to share with you in today's video where we review and compare these two phones together. If you have any questions, do leave them down in the comment section below and we'll see you guys in the next video.